Flav City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back at our happy place, the grocery store, to do a video all about snacks because I feel like every time we come to the store now, there's more and more snacks. And we're talking not talking about snacks like Doritos and Cheetos and cheese balls like Art's favorite. We're talking about healthy snacks that are made with good ingredients and are oftentimes keto and paleo. It's so exciting because when I grew up in the 80s, I'm 42 years old, uh, these snacks were not the same that they are now. So I wanna walk around and show you some really healthy snacks snacks made with top-notch ingredients that you want to snack on when you're watching Homeland or Kirby Enthusiasm or anything else on the couch. Before we do the deed, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, all those things are lovely, but the most important thing is a bell icon right below the video. Enable all notifications because when we go live every single week with three, four, five videos, including the live stream on Friday nights, you're gonna wanna get a push and you don't wanna miss out. And today's video is sponsored by a longtime supporter of the channel, Thrive Market. All of the snacks we're gonna to show today, plus so many more you can get on Thrive Market for up to 30% cheaper than the grocery store. We're talking keto, paleo, gluten-free, dairy-free. Go on their website, you can search by all those values, plus the box comes to your door. You don't have to go to the grocery store. And best of all, there is a promo code. The link in the description box will give you up to a $20 shopping credit for first-time customers. Check them out, I know you're gonna love them, and thank you guys for once again sponsoring the video. Tortilla chips can be tricky. We've talked about this in past videos. You got to see what kind of corn they're using. It has to be organic or at least non-GMO, but the devil is in the oil they fry in. So I'm going to go to one of the best and it looks like they only have a few bags left here. This is a brand new one from a great company called Jackson's Honest. And what kind of oil are they cooking it in? I've never seen coconut oil used for tortilla chips. And I look it around and I love to see on the back here organic yellow corn. I love seeing organic coconut oil and salt. That's it, right? Of course it's non-GMO because it's organic. Let's rewind really quick. There's a lot of confusion between organic and non-GMO. Just think about this and keep this in your mind. If something is organic, by law, it's non-GMO. But if something is non-GMO, that does not mean it's organic. It just means the seed that it was grown for was non-genetically modified. So this is great. So why do I think this is so great versus something else? Because Coconut oil is one of the best oils you can cook a chip in. When I pick up something like this, it's another premium brand of organic tortilla chips. But all we have to do is put on our magnifying glass and instead of using a heart healthy fat like coconut oil, they're using sunflower oil and it doesn't say expeller pressed. Now here's the deal, the more I make these videos, I do hear from brands saying, oh wait, Bobby, our oil is expeller pressed. I haven't heard from these guys necessarily, but if it's expeller pressed, why not just put it on the label, folks? That being said, even if it were organic expeller pressed sunflower oil, I don't care. It's still an average oil at best. We talk about the inflammation video uh, the other week about inflammatory oils. I believe sunflower oil is an inflammatory oil. So you'd much rather have something like these cooked in uh, or, uh, coconut oil. I'd also like to see something cooked in avocado oil. And there's only one brand at the grocery store that has it cooked in avocado oil. And this is the tortilla chip that we eat at home, right? We're a keto paleo household, so we don't eat uh, any grains at home. Siete is where it's at because they're not using any grains, meaning they get rid of corn. They use cassava and coconut flour. So these are not keto because of cassava, but they are paleo. They're using ch, -ch, -ch chia but what oil are they cooking their chips in? Avocado oil, a low inflammation, heart healthy oil. That is fantastic. Now I will say, you know, I love Thrive Mark and I talked about them a minute ago. Look at the price. These are $4.99 here at the store for Siete. If you use the Thrive uh, price scanner feature on the app and you scan that barcode right there, it's gonna pull up the Thrive brand of the uh, grain-free paleo chips and they're $3.49 for the same uh, price bag. So use my link down below once again. But any one of these Siete flavors really gets me excited because you can pull up nacho cheese and it's one of the only ones on the market that don't use yeast extract or natural flavors. They're getting the nacho cheese flavor from nutritional yeast, AKA vegan Parmesan. They're getting it from jalapeno powder, onion powder, garlic powder, serrano powder. I've never seen serrano powder in a prepackaged grocery store item. So this is the kind of stuff you wanna look for in snack food, ideally grain-free, definitely organic, heart healthy, good quality oils, right? If you're gonna have a premium price, use a good quality oil. Stop using the uh, agricultural oils. I call them like soy, safflower, sunflower. That ain't cool. This stuff is cool. 
So actually my favorite snacks when I'm usually cooking in the kitchen are nuts and fruits. And I love the bulk section because I can load up on things for actually pretty good prices because you're not paying for the packaging. And just for a quick rundown of Clean 15, Dirty Dozen, what you have to buy organic and not, check it out. A lot of nut options, right? And I think you can buy most nuts conventional except one. I would recommend getting peanuts organic. They're only slightly more expensive. And the reason why I recommend getting USDA organic, which really means something, is because peanuts are legumes. They grow underground and they can be susceptible to kind of soaking up herbicides. But the rest of the nuts, don't worry about that, especially tree nuts because they grow on the tree. The trees aren't usually sprayed. Actually, the ground around the trees is sprayed. So when they shake the trees to get the nuts down, there's no like shrubs and grass and stuff that gets in the way. So you don't have to spring for organic for that. But I would highly recommend getting organic dried fruits. So check it out. Organic's a good first place to start, but read the ingredients for these prunes, which I eat about three a day. That's like my inner grandpa or something. It's just one ingredient. There's no sorbates. There's no sulfur. That's very important. Raisins, dried grapes. I would really buy organic for that. And something that bugs me, look at this. Cranberries, it's almost impossible to find unsweetened cranberries because they're always sweetened with cane sugar. But the funny thing is, I see products now in the store that have cranberries sweetened with apple juice. So why can't we buy those cranberries sweetened with apple juice? Because I don't want the cane sugar because that's not paleo and I don't want El Diablo or the devil white cane sugar in my body. But the reason why you wanna buy organic and unsulfured non-sorbate dried fruit is sorbate or sulfured is a preservative that actually is bad for your gut and your gut uh, microbiome. We talk about the gut having 80% of the cells that make up your immune system. You don't wanna be eating a lot of uh, fruit that is dried with sulfur or sorbate, especially for kids. When they're young, that's when they have the most uh, gut microbiome ever. So make sure you do that. Another seed I see out of the corner of my eye is pumpkin seeds, but this gets me excited because these are sprouted. Why is that important? Because when you sprout a grain or a seed, uh, more nutrition is derived from that. And these actually have a ton of zinc, which is really good. I know winter is almost over, but zinc is really good at fighting a cold. And uh, sprouted uh, grains and seeds are easier for your tummy to digest. Now I see a ton more snacks over there. This reminds me of uh, SNL, Parnell and Sandberg, uh, Art, 58th uh, Broadway. Stop bowling, this, sucker. What you gonna do? Snack attack. Let's go check it out. I was just telling Art about this snack and I'm so glad to have it because I haven't had it in ages. It's dehydrated whole bananas. It's literally, should be one ingredient. Let's do bananas and banana powder. Now it does have the natural sweetness from the bananas, but I love this because it's soft and chewy. When I told Art about it, what kind of face did you make, Art? Yeah. Eh, gonna, eh. He's like, give me a banana chip. But I'm so curious about this, I have to try it now. So here's what it looks like. I've actually seen them in their whole form. These are kind of chopped up. Mmm. It's like jammy, soft, preserved bananas. That is so good. Aren't we try it at least? I gotta wash my hands first. Coronavirus 101, y'all. I wash my hands before the video. I will try this later. That is delicious and most definitely Bobby approves. Now, we look at the wall here. I like to keep it simple, right? If your kids like crunchy sweet things, I'm always a big proponent of these because it's one ingredient, right? It's dried apples and cinnamon. Wow, the ingredients are so big. Right, thank you, Art is saying that's two, which is why Arthur T. Almacy is the official accountant of Flav City. But this is where it's at, you guys. This is good stuff, no filler. Um, I love this kind of stuff. Toasted coconut chips, because I'm all about the healthy saturated fat, the MCTs, the lauric acid. And look at this, this is salted caramel. That makes me nervous sometimes. How are they gonna do that? That's how they do it, they use a paleo sweetener like uh, coconut sugar with sea salt. We're still only talking three grams of added sugar for a third cup, not bad at all. And I love coconut uh, sugar. That's what gives it that sea salty kind of flavor without adding natural flavors and stuff like that. Be careful with other stuff. I mean, I've talked about this in the past, but people see these green pea uh, snacks. And they're like, oh, they're healthy. I'll give it to little Timmy. You guys. Yeah, the peas are dehydrated. They probably have some nutrition, but when you're cooking or baking them in canola oil, that, yes, it's non-GMO, that's important, but it's not expelled or pressed. That's like taking something super healthy and frying it in the worst quality oil, in my opinion. That should, once again, be avocado oil or coconut oil. We need these makers to step up their games. 
these agricultural oils. I'm sorry, I'm calling you out, my man. No good. And then Art and I just don't get it, but look at this. For some reason, seaweed is all the rage these days, but buy the ones that are cooked in good quality oil. So this one is organic. I don't even know what organic seaweed means. I, I'm pretty sure all seaweed is wild and organic in the sea, but this one is cooked in a heart healthy avocado oil. Hooray for that. This one here is cooked in polyphenol, heart healthy, rich, extra virgin olive oil. Let's just make sure there's nothing else cut in there. Nope, pure extra virgin olive oil, love it. But this one right here, the regular one, it doesn't say what it's cooked in. So I look at that and it's cooked in organic sunflower oil, not non-expeller pressed. But even if it was, we keep talking about this, why would you give yourself a cruddy oil when you have two of the best oils on the planet, EVOO and olive oil right there. So that's fantastic that we can find that. And what else? There's so much stuff here. We have another snack video that we talked about a while back, but this is such an interesting ingredient. It's coconut jerky. Art and I tried this on a live stream recently, and the flavor is really good using great ingredients. The texture is a little strange. It kind of looks like a dried shiitake mushroom, but I love the coconut products because I love the saturated fat. I love the MCTs and all that yummy stuff. But the snack game in this aisle here and everywhere is next level, you guys. All right, we're done here. Let's move on to the next aisle. Okay, as Bobby mentioned, my first time trying an organic chewy banana bite. It smells good. It smells like banana. They're pretty good. Banana chew or banana chip? What team are you on? I'm gonna go with banana chip. Oh, I knew it. I knew he'd cross me. If you're not on Team Crunch, you're not in our punch. <laughs> We have a whole video about hummus, but since we're doing a snack video, hummus is like the ultimate snack, right? You gotta be careful with most hummuses because they use the bad quality oils we talked about earlier. You look at any major brand of hummus, I don't care who they are, and they're not using what I consider the best in class oil. They're using something like a sunflower oil, or if it's organic, they use expeller pressed sunflower oil. To me, that's unacceptable. In my opinion, this should always be made with extra virgin olive oil, or at least olive oil. That's how they do it in the Middle East. That's how it really should be done. So there's a couple brands that do it really well. Hope Hummus is great because the ingredients are fantastic. And what kind of oil are they using here? Extra virgin olive oil, which is fantastic. And it's nice to get garbanzo beans that are actually uh, organic. And Kava, which I now know because you guys is a Mediterranean fast food chain, has a oil free. Look at this, uh, hummus. They're just using tahini, which is sesame seed paste. So that's gonna be a little lighter in calories. Um, I haven't tried this one yet. If you've tried it, please leave a comment down below. Um, but just look for the good quality oil no matter where you are. Now you need something to dip into your uh, hummus. I would use those chips we talked about earlier, or I am just loving this company. And I think they're doing very well lately because they're coming to more and more grocery stores. It's called Outer Isle cauliflower sandwich thins. And they're literally made of just a couple ingredients, one of which is cauliflower. But look at that, it's cauliflower, it's eggs. I wish they were organic eggs, but they're not. Parmigiano and nutritional yeast. There's one net carb. Once you warm these up in the oven, they get a little crispy and you can make a sandwich out of it like I do, or dip it into hummus. Fantastic stuff. I love seeing this kind of low carb, real ingredient snacks at the grocery store. And then we need something to wash down our snacks with. We actually talked about kombucha in another video, a very popular fermented tea beverage. And great health benefit of this is that it's fermented. It's gut friendly. It feeds your probiotic gut bacteria, but they're always gonna have some sugar in there because sugar gets the fermentation started. I would go for the lowest one in terms of sugar on the market, and it's this one. It's Health Aid. And I actually like this flavor the best because ginger is good for your tummy and your immune system, and lemon has vitamin C. But an eight ounce portion here, has how many grams of added sugar? What does that say, Art? Eight. Eight, there's eight grams of added sugar here. I've actually seen less, hold on, let me see. There should be less. I could have swore back in the day it was five grams of added sugar. Is that bottle really eight ounces? Uh, no, it's six. Oh, you, thank you, Art. Yes, let's give it up to Art. He is so on the ball lately. Art 2020, I'm his team uh, campaign manager. The whole bottle is 16 ounces. They normally do it by eight ounce serving. So it really is only four grams of sugar. See, I'll tell you why. Compare that to this. This one will tell you 
Oh, it's just the same thing, actually, the whole bottle. Maybe the labels are changing, hold on. I live at the grocery store, I've seen this before. GT, let me show GTs. Super size me on the kombucha. That's right. What does GT do? Oh my gosh, they're doing it per bottle too. It used to be two servings per, per bottle. So anyway, but see, look, this is 16 for the whole bottle, and this one is only eight. That's half the amount of sugar in here. So go for the health aid. I do believe in drinking it. I think it's good for you. I limit the amount of drink. I'll never drink a whole bottle because I'll be burping like nobody's business, but I think it is good for you. Art 2020, he has my vote. I approve this message. <laughs> I know so many people ask me about a Bobby approved gum. I can't find any gum on the market that doesn't have natural flavors. This one's close, the Simply Gum, but it has natural flavors, but the Simply Mints do not. If you guys know of a gum that does not have natural flavors, please let me know because I don't think it exists. So, all right, Art, anything else you wanna talk about? I don't think so. All right, he's done, I'm done. Snack call, next level, you guys. I love the snack game in 2020. Check out the uh, promo code on Thrive Market. Get other keto paleo snacks in the description box. Uh, like, subscribe, share. I think the only way Art, our channel grows is by people spreading the love, right? Only way I've heard. That's right. Uh, we got two more videos going below us right now. But Art and I will see you soon. And from the north side of Chicago, we say into like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace.